On est au Salon du golf Orlando, au lancement Cobra Puma Golf, en compagnie de Kyle Berkshire, le champion mondial longue distance. Kyle, always a pleasure to see you. Um, new stuff, dark speed. It looks, it looks fast, it looks clean. Uh, for that particular uh, launch, how is it for you to dialed in? Because we, we speak to Jose, we speak to Mike Yagley, and they always say it's, it's a blast to work with you and to see what's 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 your thinking and to help to produce the next uh, the next product so to see it live what does it feel well you know this is the first head that i've actually been with from conception to realization we have a roughly three year production cycles you know most companies in the business have that it's my third year with cobra so the concept of this was birthed in 2021 about halfway through and i just signed them about four months earlier so this is the first one i've really been able to see from beginning to end and the big thing with them with this driver was I wanted a bigger sweet spot that would suit the average drive, average golfer. So we experimented with a slightly different uh, type of metal. It was a little more flexible and a little more forgiving and a little lighter. And um, that's what is made of this head and um, sweet spots a little bigger. I think it's a little faster because I'm always looking for more ball speed. Um, but no, I, it's just, I've got my highest average ball speeds with this head in testing. And um, I'm extremely excited to bring it out to the World Long Drive Tour this year. And I'm extremely excited to compete with it in golf this year as well and try to bring home my fourth title. There we go. So you won your third title in four years. How would you describe your 2023 campaign overall? It was very up and down. Um, had a lot of frustrating results where I was hitting the ball great. I just got some bad breaks at the end. Um, things didn't go my way. Had a tough injury midway through the season that uh, definitely put me behind the eight ball. But I uh, had some really good doctors and a lot of good people with me on my team. We were able to get my body back in a good condition and almost back up to 100% by Worlds and managed my hit count, stayed healthy, managed the tournament wonderfully, and uh, it was able to pull it off in the end and get it done. And now I'm back to full health 100%. And, um, you know, it was a really tough year, but I learned a lot of lessons from it and uh, brought home number three. And that's what matters at the end of the day. There you go. Um, managing. And here comes my next question. Last time we spoke, I asked you a question about your ABC for, for power. And you gave us a great question. Now, people sometimes get to the golf course, A, they get to a certain tee, A, they wanna, they wanna hit it a little bit farther. They wanna swing harder now. At the Worlds in Atlanta, you had a number up there. Your opponent showed 397. So you had the result in front of you. So what's your process? What's your routine? Maybe to help people out to get your best personal. But when you were there in Atlanta, what was your routine to make sure that, okay, let's focus on the process, not getting ahead of yourself? Yeah, I mean, it was pretty simple. I was, I had the last three balls of the tournament sitting on the tee and I needed to hit it at 398 or further. Um, and obviously the toughest part about it from my standpoint is I just gone through 25 sets across five days where you can lose the tournament. And I finally made it to the point where I could win, you know, and you, you do not want to go to the championship match and not win your title. So for me, it was really just about making it very simple, executing the shot. I just try to see the grid that I practice on with my coach and I just had to execute that shot. And as a golfer, when you're at a tee box, you want to hit it a little further. Intention is everything. So if you actually show up with the express intention of trying to get a little more out of your club and just focus on that, the brain typically does energy where, where energy flows, the brain follows. So if your energy is directed towards hitting the ball as hard as you can for that specific shot, more often than not, you're going to create more club head speed. You know, I remember I talked to Justin Thomas about this and you, get, you might actually notice he sometimes lifts his lead heel off the ground when he turns to get a little more power. And so for him, that helps him shift onto his trail side. So if an amateur wants more power in a specific swing, focusing more on shifting to their trail side will give him a little bit of extra miles per hour off, right off the rip. So what can we expect from you in 2024? Another world championship, but other than that, maybe outside of the golf course? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like um, it's definitely getting to the point now where I'm getting more and more confident that I'm going to start competing a lot more professional golf tournaments outside of long drive. I want to stay in long drive, but uh, I'm definitely looking into expanding my horizons a little bit more because you know, I played high level college golf and I've seen a lot of my, my buddies, my friends make it on tour or make their debuts in the last year or two. So it definitely makes you think about that. Um, I don't necessarily think I would go full into it, but I think I would love to make a couple starts here and there. and see how I do and, um, you know, have some fun with that while I'm continuing to do long drive, which would be 
I hope I think a lot of people would love to see that too. So I, I would certainly love to do that. Looking forward to see you progress this year. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it.